a small winemaker to get his wine to the UK normally, he would have to spend as much money on selling as they spend on wine. Our objective is to cut right through that and to get you, first of all, through this first round of tasting by scoring these wines. Once we've got those, let's call it 10 wines, we're going to ask you to score them by price. What would you pay for that wine? That then will mean we've got a short list of the best wines by quality, as judged by you guys, and the price you're prepared to pay. But we then got the Australian winemakers live in Australia who will then be bidding for $100,000 worth of that wine. And the way the whole process works is that if a customer is prepared to pay, for example, £10 for the wine, and the winemaker is prepared to sell it for 5 he's going to get a really big order. If you guys think the wine's worth 5 and the winemaker wants 10 it's going to get a very small order indeed, if anything. Okay? So the idea is, you pay what you feel like paying, he can choose the price he wants to sell at, and the variable is the size of the order. Thank you. Four. Thank you. Very nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> Three. Three. I, if I could give zero, I would. Can I give zero? <laughs> I give that a five. I think it actually needs My favourite of the day. Can we do half marks or? Three marks. And then three again. So my four was Arden Estates, uh, McLaren Vale Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which I think is the best wine I've had today, actually. The objective is, what would you pay for this wine? That's the only thing we're interested in. Well, what's, the, what's this wine worth to you? The Delirium Sauvignon Blanc, which was uh, nice, light, quite fresh. Um, very good actually for an Australian Sauvignon Blanc um, and I think it's it's well worth eight, nine pounds a bottle. Dusty Dog, uh, eight pounds. No! How generous. I would. We like. Three pound fifty. Three. Dusty Dog, three pound fifty. I think for that Blackwood Shiraz, uh, I'd probably pay about ten pounds a bottle. I'd probably pay seven pounds for that. Maybe seven. <laughs> Listen, good news, good news. You've got two wines in, the Pinot Noir and the Blackwood Ridge Shiraz. Yes. Uh, good news, some of your wines are in. Okay. The good news is, you, your, your wines are in. You're on the short list. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's like uh, phone people just want to know won the lottery. <laughs> We've got most of the winemakers logged in now. Um, over in Australia, uh, they know which of these wines. They know which of these wines are theirs. They don't know any of the other wines or the prices that they're at at the moment. So what we'll watch over the next hour is how they react to uh, what's going on with their wines. That's what you're looking at right here on the screen. Uh, is the live slice of the hundred grand? No, C is doing well. Do you know what I Buy, sell, sell Cabernet now. <laughs> Buy something with Shiraz in there. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a fix. It's a fix. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Black Wood! Hey, there we have the answer. 100,000 bucks worth for wine. You picked it. I hope you can enjoy it when it arrives. And basically what you can see there is that the, the, the winemakers who had bid the lowest relative to the price you're prepared to pay got the biggest slice of the pie.